hope you're doing well. Yeah, so today I'm just basically here to give you a clue into what my faith walk looked like and looks like now and yeah, how I kind of came to arrive at, yeah, letting Jesus be my Lord and Savior and the ultimate purpose for my life. So I'm just going to kind of jump right into it. So I grew up going to church, so, you know, from birth, going to church um, every week, but so I knew God was there. I knew that he was a part of my life and that he was a big deal, but I didn't quite understand that I could have a personal relationship with Jesus, with God, um, and what that looked like. So coming into college, I essentially cared about all of these things that, you know, you come into college thinking about what other people think of you, what you're going to make of yourself. Um, yeah, just all of these societal things that are put on us, like what's going to look like post-graduation? What are people going to think of me? Uh, what am I going to make of myself? Who will I be? All of these questions came into my head. And so, as you can imagine, I've cared about, yeah, things like self-image, um, my, yeah, what people think of me. And so that kind of led me to make some poor choices down the line of mainly freshman, sophomore year, of just trying to look for that fulfillment, what was going to fill me up inside and give me purpose. And so essentially I looked everywhere for this, um, joining soccer, coming in as a freshman on the soccer team. That was awesome, but really looked for my identity in that. Um, or maybe that's grades or finding friendships um, that were fulfilling to me. And I found that all of these different avenues didn't give me that fulfillment that I found in Christ. And so sophomore year when it became, yeah, just apparent to me that I have my identity, not in this world, not in what my career will be, not in what I make of myself, what people think of me, but in Jesus. That was when I found freedom. That was when all of the weight of the world came off my shoulders and I just felt so free to be me, Colette, whatever that may look like. And so, yeah, once I had found that personal relationship with Jesus, um, yeah, it's, it's made me want to live more and more like him. So not necessarily living by these rules that are laid out for me, rather living for Jesus, living to walk more and more like him every day. And so, yeah, it's a process. I'm definitely... Um, still in that process, in that walk, and trying to be more and more like him every day. Um, but that has ultimately filled me, has given me fulfillment, has given me purpose, has given me identity and love and just overwhelming love, love, love. And yeah, that's just been so amazing to, yeah, come into college just feeling and searching everywhere I could for this thing that was always right there, that all I needed to do was say, yes, Jesus, please um, come into my heart and be my savior. And so I had just found such freedom from that for for that and so yeah I just encourage you anyone who's listening who's listened this far I just thank you for listening and yeah if you have any questions about my personal walk or yeah just any questions in general I just encourage you to yeah message me text me um, whatever you want I'm here for yeah anyone who needs it so thanks for watching and have a good one